Good morning, CCI. I'm Sydney. I'm Dante, and welcome to CCI AM. There are currently over 100 grade 12 students who haven't handed in their volunteer hours. It's a requirement for all graduating students to have at least 20 volunteer hours. Please hand them in ASAP. The Ballantine Project is offering two volunteer hours to students who still need to get them completed. You'll be tasked to watch a video about Canadian residential schools and then submit any work of art, poem, essay, or anything else of your choosing about the topic. If interested, contact Ms. Silvira. The yearbook class is still taking grad quotes until Wednesday, March 31st. If you haven't already, go to the following bit.ly link below. The Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test will be returning this spring. All students who are in grades 10, 11, and those who have not successfully completed the test in grade 12 will be required to write the OSSLT. Passing the OSSLT is a graduation requirement. Details of when the test will be given to students in each grade, the new virtual format, and tips for writing the test will be coming to CCIAM in the next few weeks. Stay tuned for more details, CCI. Now, let's go to our field reporter for a CCI original video. Hey, CCI. My name is Jasper, and we went uh, around the halls of CCI to find out what, what students of teacher parents here at CCI basically do. What's the best and worst part of having a teacher parent at school? Um, I don't have to take the bus, and she knows everything I do. Well, and the is, worst part is probably is seeing my dad on CCIAM. Uh, the best part is that everyone sort of like knows who I am because my dad. But the worst part is also everyone sort of knows who I am because my dad. And what's one of the most embarrassing stories? Um, his little Bobby segments. I kind of get a lot of stares and a lot of comments about this. Probably the worst part would be him coming into my class and talking to people and bothering me about uh, how I'm behaving in the class. Be sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Now back to your host. College is an exciting time for students across the world. It's the first big decision for senior students. The school wants to celebrate this by hosting a, a college day this Friday. Wear your university sweatshirt, sweatpants, or any other college gear. Rep Wrap your dream school or maybe even your raid your parents' closet. Don't have any? Wear your CCI merchandise instead. We can't wait to see what you're wearing on Friday. Grad photos are happening during the week of April 26. Go to www.bookmygrad.ca if you still need to book an appointment. Now for your weather, CCI. Hello, CCI. This is Gabe with the weather. Today is cloudy with a high of 17 and a low of 12 degrees. In sports news, the Toronto Raptors are celebrating their ninth straight loss. And now for your daily dad joke. Why did the stadium get so hot after the game? All of the fans left. That's all for your weather today, CCI. Back to your host. Attention, attention students interested in health sciences. A few universities in Ontario have decided to host a Discovery Day, made up of workshops talking to educators and others in the field, as well as other information so that you can find out what it takes to be a health professional. Please contact Mr. Funston in the Science Department if you're interested. Thanks. Now it's time for your offbeat news. A doctor appeared in court through a Zoom meeting in the middle of performing surgery. The doctor had gotten a driving ticket and decided to appeal it while operating through the online meeting. 
The judge said that he will rebook another time, concerned about the patient who is undergoing the operation. Thanks for your announcement, CCI. Have a great day.